So this is an interesting question. Is there a link between ADHD and Parkinson's given that both involve dopamine in different ways and Parkinson's involves our sense of time like I talked about in my last video and ADHD we often talk about time blindness. And the answer is kind of but also no. Let me explain. So when we talk about time blindness in ADHD, we're not talking about whether or not you know what time it is, which is what we mean when we say your circadian rhythm or your internal clock. The time blindness in ADHD is more about how it's difficult to connect with the importance or value of things in the future as much as connecting with the value of things in the present. And that sense of time, like what time of day it is, is actually involving an area called the suprachiasmatic nucleus of the hypothalamus, and that involves neurotransmitters like acetylcholine, not dopamine. But as I hinted at earlier in the video, both disorders do involve dopamine, in particular in an area of the brain called the striatum. And there does seem to be some kind of overlap between the two disorders. However, the current research is actually focused on either ADHD potentially having the same sort of uh, precursor, you know, genetic predispositions that might also lead to Parkinson's and, and don't get worried if you're on them, possibly the ADHD medications. Because as we often talk about, anytime we take medications that affect the brain for anything, we always wanna ask about the potential long-term consequences. And so in the case of taking a drug that affects dopamine levels in the brain, there's always the chance that we're going to affect other systems that also use dopamine that are different from the part of the brain we were trying to target with that particular med for the particular person. So I hope that helped relax and or freak you out more. Let me know in the comments what you think.